once again, when uh, Ambrose got there, he was boy, the most unique of the three, in my opinion. Uh, he had a mix of Terry Falk and Roddy Piper, um, and, and he was he was the real deal. He he uh, he never let you in on on what he was thinking, even in the dressing room or even in class. Or he, that that was a, a good part about him. He kept that mystery about him, even though you knew he was working. He he didn't tell you he was working. Um, and then Ambrose, uh, or Ambrose, pardon me, Rollins. Uh, he he had that. Cox sure in this, he knew he was good, and he was good. He was great. He and Ambrose had uh, had their angle in FCW, and that was that was our top angle up until they went to the uh, Performance Center too. And you knew that uh, Roman Reigns was going to be great because he had the stock. He came from the stock they wanted. Now the way it turned out, um, once again, you have to peel back the layers and you have to look at the. Uh, business end of things. How how did Seth Rollins get in that position? Uh, Seth's a smart guy. Ambrose is a smart guy, but I don't know if he's as good a politician as Seth Rollins is. And that's not taking any anything away from Seth, but you have to know how to play the game. You have to know who's <laughs> who's running the game up there. So Seth, Seth got in with the right um, people, and he has talent. And he had everything uh, going for him. Ambrose, I thought, was was very talented. There were some in FCW who didn't think he had the look or the or the talent to be a top guy. They were all they were high on uh, Reigns from the start, because like you said, he had the had the family background. He had everything going for him. Uh, Rollins, or pardon me, Ambrose and and uh, Rollins uh, were going to be bit players at, in FCW. That was the uh, the take on him. But as things as time went on and uh, other factors came came into play, um, the shield came about and uh, then they fractioned off into what they uh, became. <laughs> 